Welcome! I'm Massimo Moscherini and today I'm going to tell you why I flipped my classroom. In schools we like to say that all children can learn but we have to remember and that's our experience that not all children will learn the same way and we, so we have to take into account what they learn and how they do that and we will not learn at the same time so every student will have its, his own or her own pacing and this is where differentiation uh, takes place I mean differentiation is when you take into account these two facts that children can learn but they will not learn the same way at the same time And this is where um, flipping your classroom takes place because flipping your classroom is a tool for differentiation. It's a way to have a differentiated classroom because a differentiated classroom has basically three aspects. It's flexible, so that means during class time uh, you are flexible to accommodate the different learning needs of your students is purposeful, that means you, have, you set clear learning goals for each one of uh, your students and it's respectful in the sense that allows you to reflect on what you're doing and allows the students to reflect on what they're doing. And flipping your classroom is a great tool to achieve exactly this because it creates two learning environments, both of them which are very powerful. At home, you establish a one-to-one -one connection to, with your students because the students at that point, they can decide the pacing of their own learning by re-watching again the videos, pausing, going back, and at the same time you can engage also their parents because for the first time the parents they can enter in your classroom but seeing how you teach and this is the, really the, one of the foundation points of flipping your classroom in class at that point having taken care of uh, the main lecturing part you can take care of all the other parts which are related to differentiation namely at that point you can start reinforce the learning so you can assess what the kids have learned at home and at that point you can do groupings according to what they um, to the readiness and also you can focus on strength uh, all too often in classes we uh, tend to focus on what a student cannot do well, it's really important to see what he or she can do and, and try to build the learning on their strength. And obviously, uh, you can set at that point a different pacing of a class. Still have in mind what are the learning goal, goals for all the group, but you can set different pacing. And there are many other things at that point that you can do in class, thanks to flipping. But flipping your classroom and especially recording the videos has other advantages because uh, first of all you have uh, an occasion to really look at the way you teach so breaking up your lesson in small bits um, being able to explain clearly in front of a camera but it's also a great tool of self-reflection one of the ways in, a, in which a teacher can grow in his teaching practice is by self-reflection and probably there's no better way for self-reflection than seeing yourself in action because at that point you change your point of view from the point of view of a teacher to the point of view of a student and this is what the videos are all almost all about in the same way you can share that with your colleagues and another another great tool of, of um, growing as a teacher is really sharing your practice with uh, your colleagues 
One way is to invite them in your classroom, but m most of the time that is not possible because of our timetables or any way of time constraints. But if you share your videos with your colleagues, you can encourage discussion between your own department or different departments and you can general um, exchange feedback because again you, you're going to see yourself from another point of view. For these reasons I decided to flame my classroom.